I see Ashtanga has a good future. Sarat is, is, a, is a great teacher and it looks like he's, he's really handling it well. There's, there's lots of new teachers and lots of new authorized and new certified people. And it's a quality is high. But at the same time, what is happening in the world that there's more and more teacher trainings and there's kind of easy ways to become teachers. So in the other hand, the quality is going down because anybody can teach yoga and you can go to very short teacher trainings, which are not teacher trainings, they are basic information about yoga. Nobody can become teacher in, in one or two months. Like Patabi Choi said that it takes 10 years to become teacher. And he even, even said for some people it takes 25 years, <laughs> if they're a little bit stubborn people. <laughs> so it really takes time. And the teacher training just cannot teach you that kind of experience because yoga teacher has a need to be experienced. It's, it's experience what we're teaching, our own experience for the people. So if, if we have experience about yoga, what is yoga? Not only the asana, but what is the, the whole view about yoga? Then we can teach it forward. Then we can pass it to the, to the students. But now people start to teach yoga without any experience. So what it becomes, it's just this... Uh, it's quite sad, but at the same time, I hope that people who go to these old gyms and yoga classes somewhere, I hope they can find something more serious. What is more yoga than just like new age music and some poses and fancy clothes. Of course, if we have positive thinking, we can, we can say it, it is positive that people start to do yoga, even if it's uh, just asana yoga or exercise. Because maybe people want to do that kind of thing. But I hope they, they find also something else than the, all of this uh, superficial yoga stuff. Mm-hmm.